Hey guys, welcome to today's One Six Galaxy video. Today we are continuing with a look at some of the TV C stuff. This time we have the Vintage Collection Star Wars The Mandalorian Paz Vizsla. Uh, so quite a figure to get, um, especially if you have seen the latest episodes of The Mandalorian. Um, so this is from season one, I believe. Uh, where he first makes his appearance and guns down the troopers. Uh, so this is probably, you want to pair this with your Navarro Cantina set maybe, um, or you probably just want to get him to chill with your Mandalorians. Um, so this is one of those controversial packs where they go, it's a deluxe set, and then they go put it in Zing and they whack 50 bucks on it. Um, by no means do I think this is worth $50, but it is what it is, and um, unless you wait... Uh, for them to become heavily discounted, you may miss out. Having said that though, the Dark Troopers at the moment are half price at Zing, so that's something. Um, I didn't pick up a second one myself, uh, but I was considering it. Um, anyway, having a look, we can see that it's that same windowless style package that we've been getting for a while now. Um, from what Hasbro have said at Celebration, this is soon to end, thank Christ, uh, because this packaging is just god awful. Uh, anyway, Star Wars The Mandalorian Paz Vizsla, we can see that it's a deluxe set because it comes with a huge gun and a backpack. Um, we get a nice image of the figure itself there uh, with the Kenner logo. Side says The Mandalorian with another look at the figure. Uh, the back shows you everything you get. Um, how this warrants a deluxe set is beyond me, but anyway... Um, so, Vintage Collection, uh, and then this side shows his little shield bond, uh, which is quite nice. Um, and then the top of the packet is just that image that continues there. Uh, so I don't normally open the stuff, but because it is, uh, this windowless display, I always do like to show how they are packaged, um, because this package is pretty much worthless anyway. So, this is... How he comes. Um, great paint apps. Look at that. That's really nice. Um, I really do dig that. Not as beefy as uh, what Hot Toys or whatever have made him, but it's to be expected. But um, he looks pretty cool. And then you can see all your other accessories are wrapped up in the paper there. Uh, and we just have to kind of hope and pray that everything's there unless you open it uh, even more. Um, the backpack's there. The gun is there, because that's attached to the backpack. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to assume that everything's there, uh, which I really hate doing with these things, but um, I just don't like completely opening them. Um, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, uh, the next one of these to come out is going to be the Tuscan Raider one. Um, so basically what they're doing is, is they're giving us the female Tuscan Raider um, from Book of Boba Fett on a card, and then there's another one, uh, somewhat they did in Fasoka, where they're whacking her in one of these, but giving her the Mastiff, um, and saying, yeah, it's a deluxe set. Um, little does Hasbro forget the original Tuscan Raider from 2002, um, the Attack of the Clones one. The original Attack of the Clones Tuscan Raider came with the damn Mastiff for $16. Uh, so, it is what it is. Um, I highly disagree with these deluxe sets, but um, sometimes they're the only way to get a particular character, and you just don't want to risk missing out. Anyway guys, super quick video for you. Um, thanks for watching. We are going to get the retro figures and that when they come in. Uh, hopefully they're not going to be too far away. So we are going to um, focus on the 3.75 inch line for just a little bit longer, um, and then when the next 6 gallon user stuff comes in, uh, I will let you know what I'm getting. Alright, thanks guys.